In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to import and export Beaver Builder page templates between different websites so that you can take a layout that you've designed in one website and then use it in another. So this is extremely valuable. There's two different ways that I have used this myself and there's many ways that you could use this technology yourself. So for me, the first way that I use it is on beyondbeaver.com. It's how I sell my landing page templates for Beaver Builder. So in the menu under products and then landing pages, these are all Beaver Builder page templates that you can purchase from beyondbeaver.com and then you import them into your website and you have these templates in your install ready to go. So when you create a new page or you're editing a page using Beaver Builder, you'd come up and you'd click on templates and then that template that you've purchased from beyondbeaver.com would show here, you'd click, it would load in the page and then you'd have one of these templates on your website ready to customize for your own content. So that's one way that you could use these. You could purchase ones from third party developers like beyondbeaver.com and then you could import them it's ready to go and add your content. Another way that I've used these is when I'm doing a client website, say I design a really nice homepage, I might export that homepage and save it to my computer and then import as a starting block for a future website that I do for a future client. So they're the two ways that I'm using it, but I'm sure there are many other ways that you could be using this for you and your own current situation. So I wanna show you guys how to do that. And to do that, we're going to focus on the eBook Pro Plus because it's a template that I have and I'm gonna show you if you click on the live preview link, that'll open up a new tab and this will load this website here, which is a different URL. And I've set up this WordPress install to showcase my different landing page templates for Beaver Builder. So I'll just scroll down and show you this. And again, this is called eBook Pro Plus and I've designed this so that it's optimized for selling an eBook. So let's just say for this lesson that I've just launched a new ebook and I wanna start selling it. I wanna drive traffic from Facebook or Google, wh wherever. I need to have a landing page up. So what I could do is I could come into here and then I could click on Page Builder to go into Beaver Builder. And then I could click on Tools. And then I just need to save this template. So I could save it as ebook landing page template. And then I'll click save. Okay, and now that's saved into my template section within my WordPress install here. So let's exit out of this. And then let's go to the back end of our website. And then under templates, let's click on all templates. And you'll see there it is ebook landing page. So it was published one minute ago. That's the one that we just saved. So we have saved that as a page template in our database. So because it's in our database, and as I showed you in a previous lesson, this is its own post type, as we can see from the URL up here, we can actually go ahead and export this like a normal post, a normal page, a normal content type from this WordPress install. So that's the export process, and then we can import it into another website. So to export that template, we go under tools, and then export. And this will take us to the export page. So we could export all the content like we could normally with WordPress, or under that we can export on a per post type basis. So posts, pages, and like I just said, templates are their own post type, which means we can export the templates post type. Now you'll notice that when we click on templates, there's a drop down. So we could go ahead and export all the templates so this would export all templates under templates, all templates, which are all these here. So if I was to click all templates and then click download export file, all those ones under all templates would be exported into their own export file. But then when I import them into the second website, I would have to import them all. I couldn't just select the one template. Now, if you are wanting to do that, by all means, go ahead. You could export all the templates and then follow the rest of this lesson. Or if you wanna be more specific, like we are for this demonstration, we just wanna export that ebook template. So we can select from this drop down to select templates, and that lists all our templates. And again, these are all the ones that we would find under templates, all templates. 
So that's the one that we're going to export. And again, you could select multiple ones on a per template basis. But for this demonstration, let's just select this ebook landing page template. So we've checked that box and let's go down and click download export file. And then let's just save that to our computer. And you'll see it's downloaded here in our browser. So I'm using Chrome and it's a .xml file. So just like you'd export a post or a page, as I said, you get that same file extension, which is a .xml file. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. You don't actually need to know what sort of file it is because we're just gonna be clicking a few buttons in a second to import it. So now that we've exported it from this website, let's go to our second one where we're gonna be importing that template. So I'm on my second website and to import that template that we just exported, we go to tools and then import. We click run importer under the WordPress option. We choose a file, so we choose that .xml file that we just exported. So there it is, .xml, and then let's click open. And then we wanna click upload file and import. Now you need to assign this to an existing user. So I'll just assign it to me. Now the next option here under import attachments, I want you to note this. So the option we have is to download and import file attachment. A black and white answer here is it doesn't matter whether you check that or uncheck that. It makes no difference in this import export process with Beaver Builder templates. And I wanna show you exactly why that is. So for now, let's just check this download and import file attachments. But usually you would just leave it unchecked because like I've just said, it doesn't make a difference. And then let's click submit. So these are quite small in file size. So that's just imported. And now when we click on our template section, all templates, there's that ebook template that we just imported. And if we click to view this template, you can see there's that page template that we've just imported from our first website. So there's a few things I wanna outline with this imported template. Firstly, let's view the code. And you'll notice that the images are still pointing to our first website. So you can see the URL here, preview.beaverchildthemes.com. That's the website that we first exported the template from. And now we've imported it into this second website, which is demo.beyondbeaver.com. But even though we've imported the template into our second website here, the images are still pointing to the first website. And that's a very important thing that you need to understand with Beaver Builder templates. Because if you now go back to this website here, the first website, and delete these images out of this WordPress website, on this second website, the images will break and fail to load because they're still pointing to the old server. Now, if you are wanting to get these images from the old website and put them into the new website, it is a bit of a manual process, but what I do suggest doing is going back to the first website, right clicking on an image and clicking save as, saving it to your computer, and then going back to the second website, editing that template with Beaver Builder, and then clicking and replacing the image. You'll also know that even though this is a photo module with a photo there, because the image is being sourced from our first URL, so the first website, there's no photo in the select photo field. So if we click select photo, and then we go upload files and we select files, and we select that ebook and click open, it's uploaded and we click select photo, you can see that image is in there now. It's uploaded to our second website. So if we click save, and we save this Beaver Builder template, now if we go ahead and view the URL, so the source URL for this image, we'll see now it's pointing to our second website because it's in the media gallery of our second website. So that's just something really important to remember. If you do import a template into a new website, the images are still pointing back to the old website 
and they don't actually import into your media gallery in WordPress. So you have to manually go ahead and save them from the first website and then import them into your media gallery in your second website and then add them to the Beaver Builder template. But I did say that they are thinking of introducing a feature or an option in Beaver Builder where you can select to actually import those media images along with the imported template. Now lastly, let's just wrap up this tutorial and the last thing that we need to do is let's go ahead and we'll create a new page. And let's name this ebook sales page. And then we'll click the page builder tab to launch Beaver Builder. By default, it loads the your templates option. We can see our new template, we can click. That loads into the page. We jump in, we change this to the content of the current campaign that we're going to be doing for this launch of the new ebook. Change out some images and then we click done. Publish the changes. And now we've got this great template on our second website. So that's it for this lesson on importing and exporting Beaver Builder page templates. Let's go on to the next lesson. Mm -hmm.